There's a bonfire. Oh, but this is an interesting... There's some intrigue to this bonfire. And the intrigue that there is to this bonfire is that it appears as though once I drop down there, there might not be a way back up here, but I need a bonfire, so whatever. We're gonna see where the world leads me right now. This is now officially my next bonfire. I'm skipping that boss. Once again, as I always say, don't worry, I will go back to that boss, just like I did the Pursuer. It's just gonna take some time for me. I do want to beat all these bosses in these areas, but I just, I don't think that I have, I have it in me to battle that dude right now. Although it looks as though I may have just fucked myself because, oh crap, oh my gosh, this dude wants to fuck with me and so does this dude. Alright, let, let's, whatever, let's climb down the ladder and think for a little bit. Okay, this dude can climb down the ladder, which is gonna leave me an extremely small space to fight it, but... Oh, crap, I needed spells. Not not that. This is bad. I needed spells. Oh, dude. Whoever this is, I hope they drop that staff and that it's good for casters, because that would be totally awesome. Does my spells do any damage to her at all? Oh yeah, they do. They do. Alright. In fact, not only do they do damage, they stun this person pretty good, so we can get rid of this goddamn phantom pretty easily. Oh, you're not dead yet? No! Oh gosh, don't do anything! Mmm! Dude, she's got the moves. I just gotta hit her one more goddamn time and she's dead. Ugh! You better drop that staff. If you don't... Oh... It didn't even say I vanquished a phantom. Was that even a phantom? Well... If I hope there's not a bunch of that enemy, that would be terrible. And, to top it all off, that person didn't even drop that sweet staff they were holding. I would be a super happy man if that person just dropped the staff they are holding. By the way... Oh, hey buddy. I see you there, dwarfing it up, your dwarfy ways, having a shit ton of hit points. Dude, I know what this area is. This is... Luna Soul, the opposite, or no, it's Belfry Soul, the opposite of Belfry Luna. Dude, it looks like Belfry Luna is doing a way better job of defending its peeps. And I'm only saying that because, remember, Belfry Luna had a crap, crap, crap ton of dead dudes all around it. It just had dead, uh, dead little gnomes everywhere, so... I gotta say, these people must be doing at least a little bit better than their Belfry brethren just because they are not plagued by a million little uh, gnome corpses everywhere. So good good work, guys. Good work not having a million little gnome corpses everywhere. Although one thing that worries me is that I'm pretty sure that because this is another one of the Belfry-type areas, that there's going to be a huge chance of me getting invaded by Belfry protectors. Dude, maybe the fact that I'm playing this game while school is in session will totally make a difference. I don't know why that would make a difference, but, I mean, hey, college, and I don't just mean, like, high school, I mean, you know, college, oh, this guy's got a bow, too. He's not, he doesn't play games by only having a damn sword. Dude, it was like, people could be in their college classes, it's heavy work hours right now, you know, a lot could be going on. Oh, but this guy, this person looks way more serious than those little than those little dwarves. Look at that sh- I mean, look at that shield! Oh, Look at that shield! Okay, I- I'm afraid that if I attack even once, shit's gonna get totally real. Alright. Maybe I should get out some better spells for this guy, because he looks like he's dead serious. By the way, did you, Holy shit! His sword- Oh, he pulled out his shield like a dick. Alright. I'm gonna make you- Oh no, and here it goes. Invaded. Great. Well, now what do we do? I don't even want to mess with any invaders. I'm so not... Okay, let's pop out some way better soul arrows for this invader. Hopefully this guy has a limit of where he'll follow me to. That would be super nice. This will ring the bell, and it'll get me trapped in here with this guy, which I don't want. There's my invader. Let's just hide from him until he goes away. How about that? What do you think, guys? Let's hide from the invader until he just leaves me alone, because I don't want to mess... With any god damn... I don't want to fuck with any god's damn invaders. Although now I'm never going to get to ring the bell. See, there's the bell. The lever for the bell was down there. Oh, this guy stopped pursuing me. Cool. But here comes my invader. 
Well, shit. Dude, let's actually make my invader fight all these guys while I go look for stuff. My invader can... You know what? If my invader wants to deal with these dudes, let him. He he can have them. I don't, I don't give a fuck. My invader can have all the fun he wants with these enemies. Ugh. Except for this might not work out quite so well as I had hoped. Oh, grab a thing. Fuck. Dude, why are these guys fighting my... Oh, well, you gotta ring the thing to get the grate to come up. Shit. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to do something here. I'm gonna have to find some kind of solution to my problems. This invader knows that I'm a wuss who doesn't want to battle him. He understands my fear. And now I've got another invader. Great. Alright, dude. We're gonna pound this dude. Oh no, he's good at dodging. Pound this dude with a soul spear. Crap, he is good at dodging. Uh, this is horrible. This is not what I wanted at all in life. This is not what I wanted for Christmas. Oh, that's a death. I am just gonna plunge forward into the future. I'm gonna ring the bell, therefore pissing all these dudes off. That's fine. Alright. Oh, okay. Get in here, get in here so I can get out. There we go. Alright, the bell is rung. Hopefully your bell ringing will therefore open that grate over there. I'm not even, like, gonna play games with any of these dudes right now. I just... I'm sorry guys, I don't have time for games, I only have time for being a total badass. Okay, oh and that mist just goes away, cool. So now we can find out what lies on the other side of this door. A chest, certain death, because these guys aren't afraid to follow me in here, which I was kind of hoping that what would happen is this would be one of those areas where once I sort of left the zone, the dudes would be like, well that guy's a good dude, let's not follow him. Raktar is a nice guy. Let's leave him the fuck alone and not pursue him till his bitter end. Okay, there we go. We lost those guys. Hey! This can bring me back. Oh, but that didn't do shit. All that did was just bring me in one big circle. It allowed me to ring the bell and then go in a circle. I guess now I know that... Well, I don't want to go back there. Fuck that. Huh. See, this is... And then this brings me out. So, you can use that to go in a circle, get a few items, I guess that's the best that's... I guess that's the best use for that, and that's all. Damn. Okay. Well, it's time to face my problems like a champion and not like a non-champion. By the way, don't step on these buttons, because once you step on these buttons, it creates a lava flow that will fuck you for the rest of your life. Come on, fire at me. And yeah, once the lava's flowing in this area, it kind of sucks. Oh, don't... Mm. God damn. I'm really annoyed by this archer right now. Hopefully I can kill him before he gets one more blast off. So yeah, what'll happen if you step on the button is the lava will flow down from here. And then you'll have to jump across these every time you want to do them. So... That item right there is a pyromancy seed, but... Or it's a, it's a flame seed, but since I haven't even used the flame seeds that I have... I'm kind of just going to ignore it for now, and I've also heard... That is the hardest flame run out of all the flame runs in the game. That one is like the worst, so... I am just going to go ahead, try my best to avoid it for now, and in fact... Alright, are there items over here? There are. Shit. Alright, let's get this guy though, since he's guarding an I- What? No! Shoot straight ahead. Let's get this dude since he's- Okay, for some reason the game wants me is being weird. I think my best bet at the very moment is to just avoid all these dudes. And not even worry about the item. Like I've said in the past, 9 times out of 10 in this game, items aren't even items that somebody like me would want in the long run anyway. By the way, you can get these guys to, um, to kill themselves, like, like so, by standing in the fire, which makes things great for me. Oh crap, okay, so the dudes are gonna keep on shooting at me no matter what here, which means I gotta get through this goddamn mist. I just gotta keep moving. I've got, basically, the only bonfire I have is one that I have to go like way out of my- Whoa, no! Oh, no! Alright, let's get at it. Let's get get out the fuck of here. And hopefully we can make life our bitch. Oh, no! I can't make life my bitch at all. This is horrible. I've gotten myself in a place I cannot escape. Which is gonna be really good in terms of me actually maybe winning this fight. He's gonna blow up! Get out of there, man! Oh, no! 
friend. You were gonna be the dude that made this possible for me to win this fight finally. I cannot give up on this goddamned boss. So I am gonna pop a flash sweat, jump in here, and hopefully everything goes as planned. And hopefully Lucatiel doesn't kill herself this time. I've had a few instances of Lucatiel just deciding that she wants to kill herself. So first things first, yep, we have to make sure that somebody else gets aggro. That worked, that part worked out perfectly because that dude has it. And I feel like with two dudes, as long as they play smart, get out of there. As long as they don't die right now, Lucatiel, God, Lucatiel has a shit ton of defense. That is a very good thing in this situation. Um, yeah, holy cow. So as long as Lucatiel doesn't do what she did before and just allow herself to get like cornered like a fool, this should go pretty well. Oh, but she's gonna- oh no, she's not gonna do it. Cool, she knows to get away when he does that move. Alright, I'm gonna stop wasting spells while he does that. And maybe actually pop a flash sweat again. This might not be a good time to do this, but Lucas Teal, you know, she still has, um... Luca Teal still has the... the aggro, so you know what? Might as well just let her stand in a corner and get wrecked while I do this. And, okay, please, Lucatil, just, oh my gosh, Lucatil, you're doing a great job with that aggro, but if you don't get out of there, you are going to die, yep. Alright, so it's down to me and my friend, let's make sure my friend has aggro first. Alright, cool, my friend does have aggro. I hope that he knows, okay, I think I have aggro. I should, yep, mmm, this could be where it, me having aggro could be where it all ends, but, alright, he's got aggro back. Oh, I didn't realize that thing, like, shoots like a thing of flame at the shit. Alright, I guess it's just, okay, get out of there, dude. I, ho I hope he knows what to do. Oh gosh, he got out of there. This could be the one. I just gotta not get my hopes up. In fact, it's probably best for me to have my hopes down right now. By the way, there was a previous attempt where I, um, I almost had this boss, but what happened was, it was just me and one other person. It was supposed to be me, one other person, and Lucatiel. But Lucatiel jumped off of a fucking, like, right before I summoned the other guy, Lucatiel jumped off a ledge. So I learned my lesson, and I was like, okay, Lucatiel is just gonna jump off this ledge, so what I really need to do is I need to have this other person, oh, thank you so much, Grizzius Lupus 449 you're the dude. I think you're a great person, and I'm so thankful for your help, but... I really hope that someday you leave so this door opens. Yes! Ah, oh, finally, this next bonfire is open to me. You're gonna see right now why this it's so important to me <laughs> that this next bonfire be open because it's actually comically close to the other bonfire, but the deal with it is that even though it's comically close to the other bonfire, you can't get to the two from each other unless you take the weird-ass route that I was showing earlier where you go, like, around Belfry Soul. Yep. And now I've got two bonfires, legitimately pretty much right next to each other, and you open this door, and look where you are, you're right here. Boom, boom, boom. So now, I feel like this is a fantastic place to end this episode of Dark Souls right here. In the next episode, I'll be for realsies going into the next areas and actually exploring them like I'm not afraid to die. This is Raktar, thank you for watching.